financially sustainable. What do I mean by financially sustainable? Uh, we cannot build a new phase of growth that is based on debt, public and private, on leverage. It proved to be a very bad way to create uh, 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 growth. We have to have a, a growth that is more balanced, or at least does not leave alone too many regions uh, of the world. Um, and that is the, 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 the financial sustainability, the financial sustainability. But from a social point of view, what do I mean when I say sustainable growth? First of all, first of all it has to be a growth that creates jobs, because a jobless recovery does not interest us. Who cares about the, only the very rich or the liquidity, the immense liquidity of many large corporations if at the end growth is not uh, uh, transformed into, uh, into jobs. We want a growth that reduces dramatically growth, uh, poverty. And uh, China is a wonderful example of it. I mean, how many hundreds of millions of, of, of poor people have been moved to a level of uh, uh, sustainability in their life? So we want a more and more inclusive kind of growth. Then we look, must look at the environment point of view, and we have to build a, a growth phase that is much more long term, that is much more compatible with the deployment of the planet resources, and uh, a growth that uh, consider the environment and also the cultural goods of the societies as uh, uh, values and, and, and goods that have to be defended. The, probably the, the, the most important part of what I wanted to tell you is now what we can do to build sustainable growth and taking into consideration all the lessons of the crisis. Obviously, there is no formula, there is no silver bullet. I would never try to teach you, to teach a country like this one, how to grow because uh, uh, you are clearly a master. But for sure, a number of uh, suggestions from, uh, from recent history uh, have to be taken into account. Um, in Europe, certainly in countries like Italy, if we want to trigger a new phase of sustained high and sustainable growth, we have to work on many elements because uh, growth is the result of a number, a very large number of variables that have to be connected and integrated if we want to have the final result. And uh, actually, we have to work at least on four engines that are strictly connected and that uh, help each other. And when one of them does not work properly, the four engines as a whole do not produce growth and, uh, and jobs. Uh, the four engines of sustainable growth, strength of the firm, strength and efficiency of the country systems, I will elaborate on it, but uh, country system, by, by country system I mean uh, all the structures, all the infrastructures, all the services that cannot be managed by single individuals or by single companies but are part of the uh, system around them. Third engine, uh, social cohesion, and fourth engine, uh, 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 dynamics, energy in the economy and in the society. So first engine, strength of the firms. Obviously the situation is very different in the different countries. Uh, in the countries where they have only very large companies is one story. Companies where the countries like Italy or like China to a certain extent, where SMEs, small and medium-sized enterprises, are the majority of the, uh, of the economy, we have to work on helping this part of the of the economy to grow in terms of innovation, in terms of internationalization, in terms of investment on human capital, in terms of investment on efficiency. And what is crucial for making SMEs stronger is their size. 
is their strength, is their equity. So whatever helps in terms of size and strength, it also helps in terms of competitiveness. And banks like ourselves are very much involved and committed to uh, the strengthening of uh, SMEs uh, through uh, uh, these instruments. But even if companies are very effective, are very competitive, if the system around them, if the country around them is not competitive, is not productive, the overall productivity, the overall competitiveness of a country does not uh, happen. So we have to work on all those elements that are generally in the hands and in the responsibility of the governments. What do I mean? I mean especially infrastructures, physical and non-physical infrastructure, mobility, roads, uh, uh, harbors, airports, etc. Uh, I'm, I'm referring to uh, educational systems, uh, training systems, uh, I'm referring to the justice uh, the way rights are, uh, uh, are defended and uh, also the, the, the economic life of the country is, uh, uh, it, it, is put in the position to work effectively. Uh, one of the reasons, one of the main criteria for international investors to choose and select investment destinations is the quality of just the justice uh, uh, mechanism. And the fourth element is the uh, quality of, of, of the services provided by public authorities. So, company strength, uh, efficiency of the country system, and then two points, two, uh, two engines that might sound soft, but are very relevant for the long-term growth of a country. The first one is uh, social cohesion, and social cohesion is uh, the result of many other elements that at the end help people to cope with the concerns about the future. I'm referring to the welfare services. If you do not have a, a pension uh, systems, if you don't have healthcare services provided to everybody, if you don't have uh, the possibility to send uh, 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 your, your, your children to school, everything becomes more difficult and uh, all the money has to be saved because uh, 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 you cannot, and you cannot uh, uh, foster consumption because you have to cope with these very big issues for your life. So welfare system uh, uh, is very crucial also uh, uh, for, for, for growth. Uh, uh, safety nets for unemployment, safety nets for, for, for very poor, safety nets in general for the weakest parts of the society are very crucial to the social cohesion uh, of, a, of, a, of a country. And in this respect, as I was saying before, the third sector, the uh, NGOs, the, the social entrepreneurs, the, the, the foundations can play a very important role. Obviously, at the very bottom of the, the structure of the society, in certain countries, not everywhere, but uh, families, the family structure is very important. In other countries, uh, the, the, the local community uh, structures are very important. But uh, the point I want to make here uh, is that long-term growth does not come only from uh, competitiveness, but comes also from the way a, a, a society helps together. And uh, also, uh, it is very much affected by the energy of a society and the energy of a society, the dynamism of a society comes from a number of other things that are very interrelated with the other ones. Mo social mobility, the possibility to move upward in terms of social uh, uh, position. Meritocracy, the way people are evaluated, the way people can go through uh, uh, the society thanks to their merit. Uh, uh, mm, the, 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 the labor regulation, the competition rules, the way institutions uh, take decisions, so the speed at which countries take their decisions, all of them are soft components, but that at the end create the energy of a country, the energy of a system, and make uh, the system more competitive and more capable to grow. In our country, 
two of these engines work properly, pull in the right direction, company strength, the firm's competitiveness, and the social cohesion, while two of the engines in our country do not work properly. Uh, that's the efficiency of the country system. We can work, we can fix it, but for the time being we cannot say that the country as a whole is working the way it should. And uh, probably dynamism is not at the level we should uh, have uh, uh, dynamism. Uh, uh, we are working on these two weak engines and uh, we are all very committed to fix these two engines. But today we can certainly say that two wheels are working well but two, two other wheels uh, have, to be, uh, have to be fixed. Only when uh, to grow uh, more uh, rapidly. Uh, uh, in looking at uh, the, the 12 uh, five-year plans uh, that your country very wisely uh, uh, created and announced recently, uh, I was very glad to see things are put in the picture and are used to create uh, uh, long-term growth. I hope that some of these messages might be of interest. We are in a world that offers many different economic models, many different, could even imagine to do. Uh, we have to look at these uh, enormous amounts of combinations with, uh, let me use the word, curious eyes and the very, very open one. Because uh, uh, there is no uh, clear truth anywhere in the world. Uh, we have to understand the differences. We have to understand uh, what works and does not work in the different uh, uh, situations. Uh, we have to learn from our differences. We have to, let me use the word love, uh, the differences we find in comparing ourselves with the rest of the world. Sort of Matteo Ricci kind of attitude uh, uh, for, for those uh, who believe in this uh, kind of intellectual. Food.